Rashid Ganoushi, thanks for joining me on Upfront. Um, this year's Nobel Peace Prize uh, winner was the Tunisian National Dialogue Quartet, an unelected group winning the Nobel Peace Prize for Tunisia. Uh, it was given to them for saving uh, the Tunisian democratic process from the brink of collapse in 2013. Is that evidence that actually Tunisian democracy is not in the best of state? And Tunisia is going in the right path. We uh, faced many problems and we succeed to, uh, to overcome this uh, problem, these challenges. We opt on uh, the dialogue, consensus, and uh, uh, we try to avoid any sort of exclusion of any part of Tunisian people. Yes, but the quartet group, democracy. the quartet group which won the Nobel Prize was an unelected group, it was a civil society group. Did they win, did they do as well as they did because parliament in Tunisia wasn't doing well? They had to step in and save the parliament. The heads of uh, civil society had, uh, had been elected also through their people. Mm. So it's not... Uh, okay. uh, you said in a recent talk here in Washington, D.C., that you are, quote, committed to not allow the old practices of oppression to return. Um, you were, of course, referring to the repression of the former dictator Ben Ali, uh, the kind of repression that you and your party and Nahda were victims of. But here's the thing. Human rights groups have accused the Tunisian government that your party and Nahada was part of in 2013 of, quote, committing, of, of committing similar uh, abuses. Amnesty International, in its 2013 study, said, and I quote, there were new reports of torture and ill treatment by police. Across the Middle East, the oppressed very quickly become the oppressors. We appreciate what uh, the Human Rights Leagues and uh, Leagues uh, have done to control what happened in Tunisia because we are, as Islamists, the most victims of uh, dictator, former dictator re regime. So there are some cases and uh, our people in parliament the committee of human rights in 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 government in parl parliament visited the prison and check what happened and we are against any sort of uh, of uh, torture so we need that this uh, this uh, human rights uh, body still with us and control what happened to avoid any sort of coming back to the old regime. Um, and Nahda has long rejected the idea of enshrining uh, a version of Sharia in law um, from bans on alcohol and music or hudud punishments like stonings and floggings. Uh, you've said you reject that and you're not going to bring it in uh, to law. Have you rejected that because you no longer think such laws, such penalties are valid in the 21st century? Or is it a tactical decision? Uh, you don't think you have popular support for them yet? No, it's no tactical uh, decision. But uh, you know that our constitution, in our poli all our policies are based on the notion of, con of consensus. So any, we, we were very keen to have a constitution uh, accepted by all fraction, all mm. people in Tunisia. But if you could get a consensus on stoning, would you bring so, in stoning so if the, everybody the, agrees? So the Sharia, ah, the Sharia ah law is not matter of consensus. So we avoid it. But let's say that we, everybody. Let's say that you had popular support for for we, Sharia law we, for stoning. We, we deal with the reality. We we but don't. I want to know your view, we your personal we, view. We don't deal with I, I, the imagination. I, it's not imagination. I'm wondering, no, do no you personally? Support such so, penalties. So our constitution is based on the consensus. Agreed. Sharia law is not matter of consensus. Agreed. We avoid it. You avoid it. Okay. But if you, but, but do you personally support it? If you wanted, if you did have the power to bring it in, I, I don't uh, de deal with if. I deal with the reality. But you're a you're a, you're a student of Islam. You're seen as a scholar by many people. No, I politicians. You're a politician. Yes, I'm okay. a politician. But, and you don't have politician any politician deals with the real reality.
Tunisia has had its share of uh, terrorist attacks, uh, political assassinations, but it's largely been protected, it's been immune uh, from the war and conflict and coups that we've seen in other uh, countries since the Arab Spring, Syria, Libya, Egypt. Why do you think Tunisia hasn't gone down the road we of those countries? We are not in immune, but we, uh, we, uh, we care to avoid any clash in Tunisia and uh, we try to go to the consensus and to avoid any clash, any polarization between Islamists and no-Islamists. Mm. Because uh, since the beginning, we are and we were very convinced that we have to work with mod secularists, but modern secularists, because any sort of uh, extremism, whether based on modernity or based in Islam, Mm. can destroy the, uh, the experience. How do you explain what some call the Tunisian paradox? On the one hand, it's the country with perhaps uh, the most democratic elections in the Arab world, an Islamist party which is willing to talk about dialogue and sharing power. On the other hand, it is the country that has sent the biggest number of foreign fighters to join ISIL, Tunisia. 4,000 Tunisians have gone to fight for ISIL. How do you explain the paradox of Tunisia? There, is, there isn't any paradox because this phenomena is strange uh, in Tunisia. It's uh, heritage of uh, Ben Ali the, uh, during Ben Ali regime. So it's all the fault so of like, Ben Ali, like, it's not like, the fault like, of what's happening. Like Daesh in Syria, in, in Iraq, it's the remain of Saddam Hussein, the remain of uh, Assad, of uh, Gaddafi. So if we uh, like to avoid any sort of extremism, the democracy is the remed, democracy the solution. But you don't think it's curious that on the one hand Tunisia... So you see the fruit of Ben Ali regime. How do you what? stop it? How do you stop, stop it? Stop it, spread democracy. But Tunisia is democratic, you're saying, no, so it's, it's not it's, working. It's very, very young democracy, Tunisian democracy. So you don't will, think there's any it ideological take, it component? Takes, it takes time. You, you don't think there's any ideological we, component? We, there's we, an ideology we, that they want we, to go and fight we, for a we, caliph? We, no, we need time to uh, deal with this uh, reality, with this uh, the extremism, through uh, dialogue, through, poli through, through the police, security means, through development, but uh, no future for this phenomena in Tunisia uh, and you, you in, say in you, Arab world. Also. You say no future. Following the attacks this year on the Bardo Museum and then on the beach resort in Sousse, are you worried about a growing ISIL presence inside of Tunisia? No, I am not worried. So where are these attacks very, coming very, from? There is a danger because our regime is not stable through, from Libya to Iraq. Mm. The, all, the whole regime yes. is in trouble. There is uh, the phenomenon, the extremism are there. So we need the cooperation, international cooperation, regime cooperation, development, democracy to uh, contradict this disease. What do you say to those who say the rise of ISIL and Al-Qaeda and Boko Haram and Al-Shabaab and all of these kind of groups, that's all the result of, of the fact that, quote, Sunni Islam is in turmoil? Do you agree with that? No, I do not agree. Do you know who said that? It's, it's, it's very margin. Do you know who said that? That Sunni Islam is in turmoil? That's why these no, groups are... No. That, was, that was your daughter, Sumaya Ganushi, wrote that. Uh, on but the Middle East Eye perhaps, website perhaps just a few weeks ago. That was the, her view. This phenomena is very margin phenomena, has no future. It's a uh, fruit of a uh, dictator in It's in not place. the fruit of any ideology? No. There's no ideology? No, no. Ideology used, Islam used to, to, uh, uh, to justify this crime. It's crime. Agreed, but there is an yes. ideological component. Uh, yes, component, but... And people uh, like you should be challenging that more, don't you think? Islamist party should be the people challenging it the most. If there is democracy, uh, the people don't need to look for ideology to justify this crime. But a lot of people are joining ISIL, they're coming from France, Britain, America, which are democracies. You can't just say it's all lack uh, of democracy. If, if there is an ideological if, if component. There, there, is, there are many sort of... Uh, um, of uh, exclu exclusion. Mm. Thank you very much, Rashid Ganoushi, for joining me on Upfront. Thank you.